All right, so if you look at the highest point in Aggie land, you just might spot the biggest weather technology breakthrough in decades. Our Rachel Briars explains the importance of our newest gap filling 13 alert radar located on the campus of Texas A&M University and what it means to the future of predicting and tracking weather from College Station to Houston, as well as its impact on future meteorologists. The ABC 13 alert radar network. We've been bringing you the best coverage in Southeast Texas for the last year, and it's about to get even better. Say hello to our newest radar located right in the heart of Aggieland, where I studied meteorology at Texas A&M University. And I stopped by to see the installation of the newest 13 alert radar. So the weather radar that we're bringing to the Texas A&M campus is a gap filling weather radar. Um, it's intended to supplement the great network that we already have in the country and to fill some low level data voids closer to the ground. Not only is it going to fill that void in observation and fill the whole 60 mile radius, but it's going to benefit the atmospheric science program here. Uh, the students will be able to interact with this data and their research projects um, and all other you know, real time uh, forms as well. Now, if you visited the Texas A&M campus, you've surely seen the O&M building with its iconic radar on top. Learning and interacting with the old radar was a significant benefit when I was a student, but this new radar will have even more capabilities. I spoke to Dr. Eric Nielsen, who is a Texas A&M atmospheric science professor and also an Aggie classmate of mine about the benefits of this new X-band radar. When we start talking about the new radar, which is dual polarization, it will shoot out a beam that's oscillating horizontally, but also one that's oscillating vertically. So we will get a 2D vision of what we see. So we will more readily be able to identify hail or large raindrops. This radar will be an immense benefit for College Station and the surrounding area, but it will also be a game changer for tracking storms into Houston. If you think about the radars in and around the area, right, you have the main National Weather Service uh, radar, which is I believe on 646 in Galveston County, which is a very, very long range radar. But then you have higher resolution radars at both Intercontinental and Houston Hobby. And then this one here. And so if you look at all of those radars, you have nesting coverage kind of moving upstream or where things might be coming from to the Houston area, which would allow, you know, kind of a cohesive picture of something where you have all these different radar data coming together and using that to understand what's happening. And we are so excited this radar will also act as an educational tool for our next generation of meteorologists. And that's where the educational value is in this hugely as well, right? Because students are going to be seeing things as they look around. And so now they can look out the window, they can see what they're looking at, and then they can see it in a high resolution data on the radar screen and be able to build those concepts.